In programming, there's a distinction between what is called functional programming and object-oriented program programming. I'm not going into this concept. I'm just mentioning it here because it's a little bit important for what I want to show you. Um, it's just so you have heard it and you understand something you will see in a moment. So we have some basics here and talk about functions and then methods and together with this point notation. You will see in a second what is meant by this and um, for us it's only important that we a little bit understand this concept with respect to the code we are writing. And then I'll start with a list of silicon concentrations of rocks. For example, I have um, 35.12, I have four rocks and minerals, 22.12, um, 31.85 and the last one maybe 24.55 and I make a comment here these are all not a point just a comment these are all silicon in weight percent in rocks and minerals that's fine I execute it we won't see a result because it's just that this list here is assigned to silicon here and then I make some code here and now I'm using a function. Now function is always has a word, in this case I use len, this stands is short for length and then a function name, this is the function name, is followed by round brackets. And within this bracket is now an argument and then this argument is executed by this function. And here the argument is simply silicon. So if I execute this what, I, what you might have guessed is you get a length of this list here, which in this case is 4. Well, that's very simple and neat. Another function is sum. And then I make the sum of this list silicon. And I get here 113.64. Now you might want to ask, why do I need the sum of this list? Well, I could divide it by the length of this list of silicon. And now I get the mean value of these silicon element concentrations. And this then is quite neat, so we can use this. Um, so now assume in this list up here we had maybe different digits here. And what, so I need to execute this again. And what will happen then is that we have a lot of digits maybe in the results. So maybe we do not want to have a lot of digits. So there's a, the next function which is called round. And we need to put this into round brackets. Give the number of digits to execute it, and now we have it into digits. And this is now quite neat. And of course, if this might be not looking as you want it, I could just take this out. Maybe it looks too, too complicated at the moment. I could just take this out, put this into a result variable, put the result variable with into this command here executed and then we have the same and it's looking a little bit more well, maybe a little bit more neat or more readable so these are all functions so let me just put a second level header here with functions and put this above this entire block here so we know these are all functions so let's go to a next function which we which we can use quite often it's called range round brackets and then we put in for example 5 and then I get just range from 0 to 5 so well it doesn't help a lot at this moment so I can use another function which is called list and this makes a list out of this and if executed you will see what it means this range function produces a list with five elements starting in 0 0 1 2 3 4 this is why 5 is missing it has five elements starting at so goes all the way up only to four. We'll see how this is used um, later. This is quite quite handy, this function here. Within range, I could also put in, if I wanted to, one to five, and then I would get four elements starting at one, one, two, three, four, something like this. Right, so this range has not only one argument, goes in there, but a couple of arguments, um, but this should be sufficient here for the moment. I have also another function 
that is quite nice and this is sorted sorted and then silicon and execute this and then you see this list up here gets sorted um, with increasing values so this is all fine these are all functions now let's go to methods so the second part should be methods and then a code um, and the first method I'm going to use here is append. Now these methods they look different and this is why I'm uh, introducing this within this with this concept of this functions method and behind this is this functional programming which is all about functions and this object or in programming which is these methods and the difference is that now I'm writing silicon and then I have the point notation so I make a point and then I'm writing something here that basically looks a little bit like a function in this case I call it append but if it's after a point we don't call it a function we call it a method and I'm coming back to this in a second just first I'm going to show what it does I use append and then put in for example 35.122 so this is the um, or let me put in let me put in 24.55 24.55 this is the last element of the list and I execute it so nothing is happening here I first have to write a variable again so that I can see the result and what you can see it, it appended this value down here into the list but I didn't append it once but twice this is because I executed it twice first without writing the silicon variable here and then again with after writing the silicon variable here and this is why it's there twice so if I execute it again I have it four times if I execute it again I have it five times and so on so each time I run this it gets appended so this is something um, to be aware of now that it's it's called method just briefly kind of bad um, because this has to do with this object kind of programming and this is the silicon this sense is sort of an object um, and this method is applied onto this silicon object if you want to um, but as I said not going into this any further for us it's not so much important how the programming works but how we can use it for our geochemical or cosmochemical problems and this is kind of method here right so because I do not want to append this value over and over again I'm using a new cell here to show you a couple of additional methods for example I could use the method silicon and then clear just round brackets I execute it and if I have a look then it's empty so I deleted all the values here so I need to run this again um, and maybe just comment this out and so if I run it again now silicon has the values from above here because I did not append anything so it's just the initial list I can then use another method and this is sort so we had sorted up here now we use sort it's just called differently I execute it so I don't see anything again I need to put a variable here and then it looks the same as above here so you might think this is the same same result and at first yes that is correct and whether you sorted or the sorted function or the sort method entirely up to you no problem however there's one important difference between these two so if I have sorted up here and then I get the list however if I write silicon here um, I should execute this first sorry so I execute it and execute this sorted here but what you will see the result is not sorted because the point is I apply this function and the result here is that it sorted silicon but the result is not assigned to silicon 
And therefore, if I run silicon, or the, the silicon variable, it still has this initial list here. So let me show you how I can change this. This makes the things maybe clearer. So what I need to do here in this sort, I need to have silicon equal, um, I need to assign the result here to the variable silicon, and then it contains a sorted list, and if I run it, now this is sorted. And this is the difference here. So if I run this again, so now silicon is unsorted. Yeah, if I just briefly show it, silicon, it's unsorted. Now if I run this method here, because sort is applied to silicon, it means that silicon afterwards is different. So now here it's already sorted. So I, what I do not need here is something like that. So that's entirely not needed. Um, in fact, you'll get some problems here, run into some problems. Um, so in this case, if I have again the list, the unsorted list, this is entirely sufficient. Sort is applied to silicon and then you get a result here. So these are functions, functional functions here. These are methods. We will see a lot of these. Um, but here's a sort of the, of the difference um, and what the, these two mean.